It is September of 1938, and we just got a notification of a company buyout. It gave us a net gain of 130 million five hundred and twenty seven thousand two hundred thirty two dollars now this was primarily because we own stock in eclipse micro that was a company that we started out as our micro car division we designed approximately about three years worth of vehicles for Eclipse Micro and designed a motor for them also. Their motor won a lot of awards. We also purchased some of the motors from them to provide a motor for our Dove Marquee. During that time, they became very successful. They had a large market lead in our home area, which is Detroit, Michigan. And it wasn't until we lowered our prices that they started to descend in some of those categories. So Opel, which is a German manufacturer, has purchased the company for $8.20. So we purchased that stock for a lot less than $8.20. So we, of course, got a net gain. So we wanted to take a look at our financials and our positioning in the market, because every time a company purchases another company, they either grow or shrink. And there's a reason for every move. Of course, our cash flow and total revenues is a little bit skewed this month, primarily because of the purchase. So just some history on Opel, headquartered in Frankfurt, Germany. It was founded in 1862. They're a publicly traded company and the price of their stock is at $22.58. They have outstanding shares, almost 4.6 million. Their quarterly revenues is $103,549,750. They have a total of 94 factories and 153 branches, and they have approximately about 122 models. So in that total number, this is just the breakdown of Eclipse Micro. They bring to that total number 14 factories, 42 branches, 54 models, and a total revenue of $15,941,361 per month. And Opal's individual is 80 different factories, 111 branches, 68 models, 31,033,113 a month. So as you can see, Eclipse Micro was bringing in a revenue of almost about half of what Opal was bringing in. They have graced Opal with production levels of about 14 extra branches. Now, how Opal's gonna utilize that and what's going to be the ultimate outcome of Eclipse Micro, not really for sure at this moment. They only have one shareholder, which is institutional, and they don't own any stocks in any other company. Company. So why is all of that important? Well, that's important because if we look at the reports, it shows that they have 3.9 percentage of the automobile market, which falls a little bit below the mass majority of the other automobile companies that are established, but not in the top 20. Stanley is at 7.5. We're at 13.1. And Locomobile Company Americana is at 8.4. So if we look at last month's pie chart, we see that we have 11.5% of the market. Locomobile Americana has 7.2% of the market. Opal has risen to 7.1% of the market. So by them purchasing Eclipse Micro, they have now turned into the third largest automobile company in the world. And how do they compare to the other companies? Next down is Triumph, and they're basically the same size. So we have a situation 
Triumph and Opal are technically the third largest as far as market share. Studebaker is at seven, Stanley's at 5.1, General Motors is at 2%. BMW is at 1.5%. So we wanted to just take a look at our footprint and where we're at as far as our pension payments, all of our different liabilities with us just spending a lot of money on redesigning the vehicles and reorganizing our manufacturing process. All of these things are important and we wanna make sure that we offer a good product to our customers. We stay profitable enough that we can hold on to our position and all of those things go hand in hand. So the people that are retired in 1914, we're still currently paying their pension. That won't end until next year. Our monthly payout was $47,843. And as you can see, as the years go on, except for a few years where things dip down a little bit, it's been pretty steady. This year, we've had a little bit of a reduction, but we're still pretty high into the six-figure area. So our operations, we have gained some income over 1936 as opposed to 1937. And then of course, in the next few months, we'll be updated with the more current financial for our operations. Our labor has increased a little bit. Our marketing has increased a great deal. Our racing has increased a little bit. So everything has gone up a certain percentage. As far as our sales, we currently have sold for this month 57,014 different models. And these are our remaining stocks that we have holdings on. Century, Chrysler, Detroit BR Motors, Dodge, Emerson Eco, General Motors, Jeep 901, Porsche G, and Ram. Our monthly revenues and expenses and cash flow has been, but as you can see over time, we have started to level out as far as the revenues and expenses. We wanted to re-examine what's going on because we have a lot of construction going on. We're currently working on about five different plants right now to start streamlining our manufacturing process 